All right. This is the circulatory system, lecture uh, number five. Uh, I'll go over the cardiovascular system. Uh, parts of the cardiovascular system is the heart, blood vessels, lymphatic system, and blood. Parts of the cardiovascular system, the heart, blood vessels, lymphatic system, and blood. Two primary functions of the cardiovascular system are to trans uh, is transportation and protection. Two primary functions of the cardiovascular system are transportation and protection. Uh, <clears throat> two big roles uh, in transportation is respiratory and nutritive. Two big roles in uh, transportation is respiratory and nutritive. The rest is excretory, regulatory, and hormones. Excretory, regulatory, and hormones. Uh, defined the cardiovascular system is a closed circuit of tubes transporting blood between heart, the heart and organs. Uh, the uh, defined the cardiovascular system, a closed circuit of tubes transporting blood between the heart and organs. Types of blood vessels, capillary, artery, veins, venual, arterioles, pulmonary vein, uh, common iliac artery, descending aortic, uh, thoracic aorta, facial artery. Uh, types of blood vessels, capillary, artery, veins, venual, arterial, uh, pulmonary vein. <coughs> The heart is protected by a bony, the bony cage of the thorax. The heart is protected by the bony cage of the thorax. Base equals big vessels anchors the heart of the top. Uh, the base uh, are the big vessels that anchor the heart of the, or the anchor the top of the heart. The apex is the bottom towards the ventricles. The apex of the heart is the bottom towards the ventricles. The apex of the heart is the bottom towards the ventricles. Uh, protective coverings of the heart. Uh, the, the first one is fibrous pericardium. Fibrous pericardium, that's the outer protective covering. Fibrous pericardium is the outer protective covering of the heart. Uh, serious pericardium is the inner protective covering of the heart. Serious pericardium is the inner protective covering of the heart. Uh, the wall of the heart has three distinct layers, inside to out. Number one, endocardium. Uh, number two, myocardium. Number three, epicardium. Uh, the wall of the heart has three distinct layers, inside to out. Number one, endocardium. Number two, myocardium. Number three, epicardium. Uh, endocardium, uh, wall is an uh, inside chamber uh, made up of loose connective tissue. Endocardium is the, uh, the endocardium wall is the inside chamber is made up of loose connective tissue. Myocardium is the middle of the heart. Uh, it's made up of cardiac muscle. Myocardium is the middle of the heart is made up of cardiac muscle. Epicardium is the outside of the heart, the epicardium wall, <coughs> and it has fat around it. Epicardium is the outside wall of the heart, uh, and it has fat around it. Features of the heart, structure, uh, features of the heart, four chambers, four valves, septum. Features of the heart, four chambers, four valves, septum. Four chambers. Two atria chambers, two ventricle chambers, two atria chambers, two ventricle chambers, four valves. I uh, got a tricuspid valve, bicuspid valve, pulmonary valve, aortic valve, tricuspid valve, bicuspid valve, pulmonary valve, aortic valve, tricuspid valve, 
it's on the right side of the heart, has three flaps, lets the blood flow. Tricuspid valve is on the right side of the heart, uh, has three flaps, allows blood flow. Bicuspid valve has two flaps, separates the left uh, lower heart chambers. Bicuspid has two flaps, separates the left and uh, lower heart chambers. Pulmonary valve, aortic valve, <clears throat> septum, interatrial septum, interatrial septum, interatrial septum, interventricular septum, interventricular septum, interventricular septum, interatrial and interventricular are the septums. Interatrial and interventricular are the septums. Uh, pulmonary muscles and chordae tendinae. Papillary, uh, papillary mm, uh, attached to AV by chordae tendinae. Pillary attached to, to AV by chordae tendinae. Pillary muscles attached to chordae cor to AV by chordae tendinae. Tre uh, trabecula cornea means beam of meat. Trabecula cornea means beam of meat. Pulmonary blood uh, respiratory. Pulmonary blood carries, carries to the respiratory system. Pulmonary blood carries to the respiratory system from the heart to the respiratory system. Pulmonary blood carries from the heart to the respiratory system. <coughs> Uh, sy systemic blood carries uh, blood from the lungs to uh, the rest of the body. Systemic system uh, carries blood from the lungs to the rest of the body. Blood vessels, three types of blood vessels transport blood. Arteries, veins, capillaries. Three types of blood vessels transport blood. Arteries, veins, capillaries. Three types of blood vessels. Arteries, veins, capillaries. Arteries, strong and elastic, carry blood away from the heart. Arteries, strong and elastic, carry blood away from the heart. Some transport blood under high pressure. Some arteries transport blood under high pressure. Some arteries divided give rise to arterioles. So, uh, some arteries subdivide give rise to arterioles. Some arteries subdivide give rise to arterioles, arterial wall, uh, tunica intima, number two, tunica media, number three, tunica externa, those are three parts of the arterial wall, tunica intima, tunica media, tunica externa, uh, tunica, or, or three parts of the arterial wall, Tunica intima is made up of simple squamous epithelium. Tunica intima is made up of simple squamous epithelium. That's part of the arterial wall. Uh, tunica media is smooth muscle. That's part of the arterial wall. Tunica media, smooth muscle. Tunica externa, connective tissue. Tunica externa is made up of uh, connective tissue. That's also part of the arterial wall. Uh, vesodilation, vessel equals vessel diameter increased. Vessel dilation equals vessel diameter increase. Vessel constriction equals vessel diameter decrease. Vessel constriction equals vessel diameter decrease. Capillaries, smallest uh, blood vessels connect arterioles and venules. Capillaries, uh, smallest blood vessels connect arterioles and venules. Capillaries wall is simple squamous epithelium. Capillaries wall is simple squamous epithelium. Permeability capillaries permeability and arrangement are variable. Uh, capillaries permeability and arrangement are variable. Capillaries uh, remember that we need. Uh, that they need more exchange in some body areas than other skeletal muscle and adipose versus adipose tissue, and that water will move to an area where there is a high level of solute concentration. 
go back to the concept of tonicity, uh, permeability and arrangement of variable, variable capillaries. Remember that they need uh, more exchange in some body areas than others, and water will move to an area where there is high level of solitude concentration. So uh, capillaries uh, have water in them, and they will uh, move to where there is a high level of solitude con concentration. Uh, <clears throat> types of capillaries, continuous capillary, fenestrated capillary, and sinusoid capillary. Continuous capillary, fenestrated capillary, sinusoid capillary, sinusoid, it's just sinusoid. Uh, continuous capillary, majority of body is found in the majority of the body. Continuous capillary is found in the majority of the body. Fenestrated capillary is found in the kidney intestines. Fenestrated capillary is found in the kidney intestines. Sinusoid is found in the liver and spleen. Sinusoid capillaries is found in the liver and spleen. Um, aneurysm is uh, the break of the wall, of the arterial wall. Aneurysm is the break in the arterial wall. <coughs> Veins start as venules, ca carry blood towards the heart, parallel to arteries. Veins start as venule, carry blood towards the heart. Uh, they run parallel to arteries. The wall of veins have uh, the same as arteries, except tunica media is poorly developed. Wall, wall of veins has the same um, layers as arteries, except tunica media is poorly developed. Valves, why? Why do veins have valves? Valves hold returning blood the same direction. Why do, uh, or valves hold returning blood in the same direction? Valves in the veins hold the blood, returning blood in the same direction. Uh, mechanisms that assist venous returning to the heart. Uh, smooth muscle squeezes back to the heart. Mechanisms that assist venous returning to the heart. Smooth muscle squeezes blood back to the heart. Vein valves and skeletal muscle pump. Muscles around the vein squeeze the vessels during contraction, which helps move blood through the next set of valves. Vein valves and skeletal muscle pump. Muscles around the vein squeeze vessels during contraction, which helps move the blood through to the next set of valves. Blood vessel tunica keep the blood moving toward the heart dis and disallows blood falling back towards capillaries. Blood vessels in tunics keep the blood moving towards the heart and disallows blood falling back towards capillaries. Blood vessel tunics keep blood uh, moving toward the heart and disallow blood falling back towards capillaries tissues. Path of circulation, pulmonary circuit, uh, transports blood between the heart and lungs. Pulmonary circuit transports blood between the heart and lungs. Systemic circuit transports blood between the heart and body. Systemic circuit transports blood between the heart and body. <coughs> um... Artery drops nutrients uh, into the cells, and the cells leave uh, to the capillary. Uh, the lymphatic system cleans the fat. Artery drops nutrients, uh, leave the cells to capillary. Nutrients leave the cells to the cap capillary, and the lymphatic cleans the fat. <clears throat> Lymphatic uh, vessels are similar to veins. Lymphatic vessels are similar to veins. Lymphatic vessels begin as lymphatic capillaries. Lymphatic vessels begin as lymphatic capillaries. Uh, what do they do? They clean. What do they do? They clean uh, fat. Where does it go? Uh, 
to the left subclavian vein. Lymphatic vessels deposit the fat into the left subclavian vein. Uh, lymphatic vessel walls have three layers, endothelial layer, smooth muscle layer, connective tissue layer. Lymphatic vessel walls have three layers, endothelial layer, smooth muscle layer, connective tissue layer. Lymphatic vessel uh, walls have three layers, endothelial layer, smooth uh, muscle layer, connective tissue layer. Large lymphatic vessels lead to lymph nodes. Large lymphatic vessels lead to lymph nodes. Large trunks are formed, uh, drain into drunk ducts. Large trunks are formed, drain into ducts. Uh, lymph nodes enter the venous blood at the subclavian veins. Uh, lymph nodes enter enters the venous blood at the subclavian veins. What is blood? Uh, blood is formed elements. Blood is formed elements. These formed elements of blood are erythrocytes, leukocytes, and thrombocytes. The formed elements of blood are erythrocytes, leukocytes, thrombocytes. Plasma, hormones, nutrients, hormones, plasma, proteins. Uh, plasma is water. Uh, plasma is water and proteins. Plasma proteins. Uh, albumin, globulumin, fibrinogen. Plasma proteins, albumin, globulumin, bulin, fibrinogen. Uh, those are the plasma proteins. Again, albumin, globulin, fibrinogen. Uh, less plasma equals more cells, thicker blood. Less plasma equals more cells, thicker blood. Less plasma equals more cells, thicker blood. Few white blood cells in a person. Uh, less plasma equals more cells, thicker blood. Few white cells in a person. Less plasma, a few white cells. <clears throat> infection, a buffy coat. The infection layer of the blood is, has a buffy coat. Uh, stem cells are located in red bone marrow. Stem cells are located in red bone marrow. Stem cells multiply and become specialized. Stem cells multiply and become specialized. Uh, and they be, uh, mature blood cells. Blood cells, neutrophil. Eosinophil, basophil, monocyte, lymphocyte, mature blood cells, neutrophil, red blood cell, esophil, basophil, monocyte, lymphocyte. That's it.